What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm finally reviewing a sneaker that I've been looking forward to grabbing for a very long time and now about two months late I finally have it and that's the Union LA Air Jordan 1 Black Toe. Ever since the Union LA collaboration with Jordan Brand was first teased, I was in love with it. I thought it was an incredible collab. And then in November, the release happened, and I completely struck out on both colorways, both the black toe and the storm blues. And I was bummed because that was a sneaker that I really wanted. But luckily, a few weeks after the release, StockX came through and gave me a pair of the Union LA Air Jordan 1s. About two weeks later, I proposed to my girlfriend in that shoe. So obviously, I had to grab the other pair. But getting this pair was not as easy because the resale prices had jumped from like 500 to 800 and I think almost 900 at this point and uh, I just didn't have that kind of money laying around. So what I did was take my pair of off-white EU ones in a size 11 and a half, which is like two and a half sizes too big. I took them to round two and traded them. But unfortunately, they didn't have any of the Union LA ones in stock, so I had to trade them for something else. And what I traded them for was two pairs of Fear of God ones. At that point, I had three pairs of Fear of God ones, so I sold one of them on StockX and used that money to finally buy this pair. And now, about two weeks later, after all that happened, I finally have this pair in hand. And I've gotta be honest, I'm not disappointed. I've already done a pretty in-depth review of the other pair of Union LA Jordan 1, so if you'd like to check out the more detailed version of this review, make sure to click the link at the top of the screen. But you can also just watch till the end of this video because I'll have an end card for that video as well. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Starting off around the outside edge of the toe of the sneaker, you've got this really nice black tumbled leather. And just like on the Storm Blue colorway, all the exposed edges of the leather have this really nice aged yellow look. In the center of the toe, you've got this white tumbled leather panel with perforations just like every other Air Jordan 1. Then as you continue up on the sneaker, you get to one of my favorite details on this shoe, the flat split colored laces. The bottom half of the laces come in black, but as you move up the sneaker closer to the top of the ankle area, the color actually changes to this really nice aged yellow. And like I said in the previous review, at first I thought they had just used two different pairs of laces. But no, it's actually dyed halfway down, which I think is a super cool touch. Like the laces, the tongue underneath is also split into two different colors. The bottom half is black and the top half is white. And the two different colored sections of this tongue are actually joined in the center by this loose blue stitching. At the top of the tongue, you've got this really nice gray and white Nike Air logo. And similar to the off-white Jordan 1s, you've got this unfinished edge around the tongue, which shows off the exposed foam. Inside the sneaker, you've got your standard mesh Air Jordan 1 sock liner, this time around in light gray. The insole of the shoe is just like the Storm blue pair and comes primarily in white with printed sketches of how the design details came about. Those sketched details can also be found on the paper inside the box. As for fit, the Union LA Jordan 1s fit just like any other pair of Air Jordan 1s. For me that's true to size, for you it might be something different, but as I always suggest in every single review that I do, if you don't already own a pair of Air Jordan 1s, go down to your local sneaker store, try on a pair down there first to make sure the sizing is right for you before you drop the crazy amount of money on this pair. Continuing back on the sneaker, you get to this nice white tumbled leather midfoot panel and then dead in the center of the midfoot panel You've got this really really nice black suede Nike swoosh as you continue even farther back on the shoe You get to this really nice red leather panel that sort of acts as a heel counter then moving up on the sneaker We get to where the colorway transitions from a black toe colorway to a white and gray colorway The blue stitching or the yellow stitching on the storm blue colorway is one of my favorite details on the shoe It really makes this sneaker stand out and it really gives it sort of a subtle pop Which I love just above the stitching you get to this white leather panel with the Jordan Wings logo in gray. Of course, just below that, you've got the Union LA branding on this little yellow tab. And then around the ankle of the sneaker, you've got this really nice, slightly longer pile suede in gray. Moving down on the sneaker, you get to this really nice aged or oxidized looking cream white midsole. The color of the midsole almost perfectly matches the color of the laces, which I think is a super cool touch. And then finally, moving to the bottom of the shoe, you've got this all red Air Jordan 1 outsole. The Union Los Angeles Air Jordan 1 collaboration is one of my favorite collaborations of the last couple years. Years. Everything about this sneaker was executed excellently and every little detail was so well thought out it's an excellent collaboration. Out of the two colorways, I don't really have a favorite. I think they're both great and I plan to wear both a bunch. If you are willing to spend the crazy resale price of this sneaker, I think you wouldn't be disappointed and it's definitely a great sneaker to have in your collection. So that pretty much wraps up my review for today. Now I would love to know your thoughts on this sneaker and which colorway you prefer, whether it's the black toe or the storm blue. So make sure to leave those comments in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.